Angeletti to hold the pass. Looked at the defence coming toward him. Space away. Plenty stacked on the left. New Zealand Māori get defence and cover to the edge, though, as they'll come across the other way. Hurt Pickering grubbers the ball through, looking for the repeat set. As Taipuri Ukitira is just out from his goal line. And again, some smart attack from Tonga. And a big hit from Mumutau. Absolutely whacked Oliver Horgan. He's uh, feeling the effects, lost the wind out of him. He threw everything into that one. Tonga, look at him muscling up. What does the referee say here? Look like they drove him back into the end goal. Still on the ground, Oli Horgan. He's uh, Riley Tavoli. They put a big shot in around the stern on the ribcage area. Just a moment to catch his breath. And for us to catch our breath, Willie, what a start. They yeah, already mentioned in the early part of the, their first set, they started to get some width and they were moving across the field, getting away from the big defenders of the Tongans. And this is why, this is why you don't want to go straight into them. Riley Tavoli, Mutau. Great shot. Sending the warning shots out early. Good to see him back up, Oliver Horgan. Taking his place out on the edge. It's Kappa. A good start for Tonga here against this very talented New Zealand Māori outfit. Angaroa Mark playing, acting half. Pauling, it's been intercepted out of thin air. Atelier Filo scores the opening try of the final for Tonga. And that's the ultimate reward for aggressive defence. We saw the big shot from Mungata and Tavoli. Backed up, driving them back into the end, close to the end goal area. A couple more tackles in, even on last play. Working right through it, charge down. Ezekiel, sorry, out to Leo Filo with the charge down. Great technique to stay square. Get the ricochet on the run. Tongans open the leading, open the lead on the score. I don't know how many people would have picked this. It's all Tonga at the moment. Well, it's only four o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday, but noise control might be kept busy if this one continues in this fashion. The party is on big time here at Puki and Tonga through Atelier Filo. Bang in front. Tyrone Hurt Pickering puts the flags up. And that is an excellent start for Tonga. It's been a good afternoon already for Tonga. The uh, champions in the championship division. Tongan championship, championship side coming out with the win. And they get the trophy, they're hoping that the premiership side will do the same. Still early doors here for the Māori. Just haven't quite got their rhythm going because of the aggressive nature of the Tongan defence. Expect win fatigue sort of settles in and may change things. Yeah, Pickering, some sting in the carry. Nungu Tau for Tonga. Hurt Pickering looking for a quick play. Player flying up, one off by Lele. Now some quick metres out of dummy half, got up quickly and made the tackle, but they win a penalty. And there's the feeling that you would expect. And letting him know about it too, he was the one who had his kick charge down, Noah Jensen. Which led to the try. And the Māori are trying to challenge and, and go with them. The Tongan side as far as the aggression. Toby Gibson, the vice captain, trying to put on a couple of shots, falling off, falling to the to the side of the tackles. Need to get squarer. 
as much as it's nice and it pumps you up and it invigorates you getting some good contact you've got to finish the tackle so mucky so mucky can devastate defenses and go away this time to Hongaletti Kappa trying to bring him down Hilo again a little short pass this time Panasua very quickly on him Her Pickering moving it nicely here Tonga beautiful pass ball away Sukuvia just out from the line directing the trips again Purcell out a dummy half way it goes the step the footwork Les Salop went back to the right edge and they had it covered New Zealand Māori last tackle Her Pickering tries another one looking for a repeat set Ricky Tera. and some great play down the right hand side for Tonga Riley Tavoli with the long ball out to the winger couldn't quite get over some great defense by the Maori on their goal line and again Tonga camped up the side of the field they're up for this and they're up very very quickly on Aotearoa's New Zealand Maori's captain Kappa again they come forward I guess son promotes it just need more of this plays to come one off here Tutu Davis strong and aggressive and looking for a penalty won't come as the play of the ball is there Horgan shifting it away now perhaps trying to free the pass through the Pairo Winera that's a turnover and Natalia Filo has already got some reward with the try after getting some kick pressure it was his effort again just spooking Noah Jensen and he had to pass the ball out to the edge not aware enough on, the, on that edge that it was last tackle needed to come up with a kick won't be happy turning it over on halfway first real chance to use the ball for New Zealand Māori the Tonga find themselves on halfway with a fresh set Sigouvia the man who just for a moment down the right edge thought he was in Talia Filo the try scorer here in the final and gets it away as Hangaliti has made some staunch defence as Tafil Hopa did some great work as New Zealand Māori have the ball great work to get physically up in the face of the ball carrier and then recognise he was one on one still the ball went backwards but they're up very smartly aren't they on these one off runners off the ruck Tonga just trying to shut down any momentum or platform that New Zealand Māori are trying to create and it's the pressure of a final that's starting to show albeit early and only 10 minutes in down by Taipuri Wikitera and this is the first real time in the tournament that the Māori have been under this amount of sustained pressure it's been all their own going they've had some pretty big wins conceded only 18 points and had pretty much proceedings go their own way in their three wins they're under the pump here a big test of how they get out of this head pickering and tonga scrum on the 40 philo to volley little ball back for for Maone. look well organized don't know plenty of chat out there in this tong and attack they do their timing their plays their execution they're going these second man plays that you can see Panasua setting up the shape whether they've done some video overnight but they've planned everything they've come out ready to go so Maki he's come out of the gate ready to go too like a raging bull and up to the 10 here for Hurt Pickering and Tonga. Front on defence needed. It'll come. Walker Tate. 
Filo shifting it across, out Pickering again. So uh, Angeliti can't get around Toyava Ward. Good effort by the little man on the bigger man. Good Pickering again. Just drops a lovely floating kick across and it's taken. Again, he's been under some real pressure there. He'll come back to the 20. Very wiki tera. This time diffuses. And a good job by the back three from the New Zealand Māori in defence, sweeping, covering, taking care of all options. And this is what they need. It's Mana Mayhan appalling the full back getting involved, get some of the outside backs, see if they can speed up their attack. Looking to beat some tired runners here. Kappa. Brilliant run from Kappa. The captain. He's taken down just short of the 20. Outstanding go, Kappa. Now, can they capitalize? Off it comes now. Winnie it up. Good tackle, low on him. Compton Purcell. Wanting his hands on a Jensen this time. Little short pass. There he is, Joey Opoko. We've mentioned his name plenty through the course of the week. Jensen, again, the high towering kick. Over to the right. The catch and all just put down cold. Mason Barber and Jensen trying to get something on a string. Unmarked. Not sure what uh, Elijah Pyre, the winger for Tonga, was doing. Should have been an easy catch and put down. And the referee, I thought he could have played advantage there for Tonga. Instead, he's come back for the penalty for the offside from the kick. They're looking a lot sharper there, the Māori, coming out of, out of their own end with their outside backs. Bit of speed. And Kappa, the one making the, the bust up the middle. Like every captain, putting his team on the back and leading the way. He'd almost done it all. Go oh, Kappa. A confident reply for New Zealand Māori. Bilo looking for those big runners to come in. Really, Pahulu plays it back. Lovely pass on him, doesn't he? He's hurt Pickering. They try and find some space down the right edge here. He's well wrapped up again, taking care of Mark Anthony Scuvia. Pickering, brilliant pass away. Lesala, this time Sikuvia. Little kick through the chase coming. Purcell lighting the afterburners. Great effort with the dive, but the ball will beat everybody. Tonga playing some code. I was going to say, they found Sikuvia some space on a couple of occasions, and they find it again down the short side on last play. Winger sitting back too deep. They see the numerical advantage. Sikovia opens up. Couldn't quite control the kick enough. And Tonga spur another chance. Mark wanted it quickly. He's trying to inject a bit of energy here for New Zealand Māori. As Jensen just slips. A big Salmaki, Salmaki. Heading straight for him. Pauling will drop this off to Korpua, Josh Korpua. There's just a slight fumble there, I think. Pucky Parkinson. And the aggressive nature with which Tonga was started the game defensively, still there. 13 minutes to go, they're still getting some line speed, they're still getting numbers. And that time forcing the error. They keep getting the ball in good positions. The energy reserves will still be there at least to half time if, this, if that's the case. Ventures, as you can expect, critical here, particularly with these conditions. You're right, because whilst it's cooler today, 
still quite muggy outside. Imagine being on the ground and being in the fight of it. It'd still be quite hot. He's done some good work looking for plenty of it. Sukavia. Plenty stationed out on the right edge here for Aotearoa New Zealand Māori. Is it Okatate? Who's involved in the tackle with the few Hoppa? Energy sapping stuff is it? He's finally wrapped up, Suli Pahulu. Good pickering. Little ball back on the inside, trying to cut his way and step his way back through the traffic. Filahami Palele. Bilo. Dropped off nicely again. Pahulu. That's the last tackle for Tonga. And Atelia Filo right in front. 20 metres out as they look to try and find some space down the left here. Up quickly though, good read on it and well contained as uh, Ayana Pauling was up there with Toyava Ward. Great scramble from that right edge of the Māori defence. Tavoli decided to run it, shift it out to the left edge. And great work from the fullback. Pauling saw that they were short in number and had to inject himself and make the necessary tackle and did it and did it well. Real aggression. Pulled by McEwen for Tonga. Here's a chance for him, Mark. He's looked for that opportunity out of dummy half all afternoon. Finds one, and they find a penalty too. Yeah, Suli Pahulu not long on the field. Coming up with a high tackle. Contact around the head. He's on the field. So is Tuivai McEwen. Stephen Tuivai McEwen for the Tongans. They need some impact from them. And that impact can't be through the fashion of a penalty. Joey Apoko shouts out around the crowd for go, Joey. It's been entertaining this week. The ball out the back door is that's it, Toby Gibson. He'll try and get them over on the front foot. That's the 40 Tonga territory. Now a bit of a quick play for Toyama Ward splitting through just being tapped on the ankle. Record Toyama Ward. They are appalling. Cap has got it. And they'll just reset on the 10. Well, the man who split them open first, then Toyama Ward almost went all the way to feel Hooper. Mark directing the troops. Now here it is for Tate. Nice and direct. Around eight metres out. This is the final tackle for New Zealand Māori. Mark pops it off. Backwards it goes. Play on is the call. Here it is when he hit up. Too strong. Has he got it down? Brilliant work on the line. Tonga. Pucky Parkinson taking a look. It was held up. That is brilliant defence. De Paudor when he hit up. He thought he had got it when he had up. Well, the referee thinks otherwise, and so do I. I thought they did a great job, Tonga, to get underneath this. You see when they go wide. Right there, he's got enough under the ball. Great tackle by, by Compton Purcell to save a certain four-pointer. Outstanding defence, Compton Purcell. It's something to be aware of for Tonga and, and for the Māoris to see attacking wise. Whilst Tonga are getting some line speed and they're being aggressive getting forward, the line is very, very tight. If they can go two passes, the New Zealand Māori, they'll find some space. And that's how they created some of that. They just went one play too late. Ajapaya, first real question of their defence. And the answer came in the form of Compton Purcell. This man's been good, hasn't he? Mark Anthony Sukuvia. Just under nine minutes, eight and 20 to play here in the first half of this final. Premiership decider of Pacifica Youth Cup 2024. Tour by McEwen. Aggressive and just looks to have, have caught one there. Back to his feet. 
Springs back up. Velo passing away. Hurt Pickering. Now he's downtown in the backfield for Nehana Pauling to deal with. He's going to run across to the corner. Is that a 40 20? Yeah, it is. That's an outstanding result, but the read, he's sitting on the right hand side, Hurt Pickering. And as soon as he looks up, he sees Mehana Pauling, the fullback for the New Zealand Māori position there. The wing is up, there's all that space. Reading it, seeing it's one thing. Getting the connection, outstanding. Well, perhaps a bit pedestrian getting back, Barber. And the 40 20. The possession for Tonga. These are the moments in these finals and can they capitalize and make it count ball driven down and back it goes as uh, to invite McEwen will try and straighten and he's lost it in contact and now the man who tried to clean up the kick that led to the 40 20 pauling there's something on in the background and he's just getting a little bit tasty there go boys take an exception to something to Uvai McEwen. He came up with the error, no need to get frustrated. Crowd coming alive too, passion in the crowd, passion on the field. And uh, credit to the boys just cooling their jets, having a laugh about it, that's good to see. And after getting themselves in a really good position, Tonga just losing their way where they've been really disciplined to punch through, get to the next play, trying to offload, get caught off guard. I thought the first one could have been called for a knock on. The referee said it was knocked backwards. And when Tuivai McEwen ended up knocking it on, it put death to the play for the Tongans enter the attack. Just want to chat here. Referee Parkinson. Philo alongside Stephen Tuovai McEwen. There's going to be emotion, there's going to be tension, Willie. You've played in these games and it's just who manages, who manages those emotions, who controls them the best. That's right, especially in the moments when you make an error and you respond to it. Not allowing yourself to get too down and move on to the next job. Pyrenees, tear tear. Feeds it as Mark and New Zealand Māori will just look for tidy set to exit. Kappa on his 10. Salmaki, so Salmaki so leading the charge defensively. Big defence. Trying to drive the man back and walk a tape. Upoko low on him to Avai McEwen. Going to force an early kick here and wrap up the set. Tonga. Just, just has uh, the fend on the man and lets him know about it too. And that's unfortunate for Tonga. They were really aggressive. It took the Māori four tackles to just breach the 20 metre line. And just trying to bite off too much in the tackle. Not moving away quick enough. Mark down this around five, six minutes out from the half. 40 20 for Tonga. A little bit of a boil over and unable to execute and score more points. So he's New Zealand Māori on halfway. They've had a couple of telling breaks. Kappa one of them. Ahan appalling the other. And uh, the Paidua Winieta thought he was over for all money. And still they come and still looking for their first point to the final. Driven down, Josh Kopua. Pleading with the referee here. Uh, Aurangi Darlington. 
He's such a handful of Pukko. There it is. Dama Delray Darlington. Thumped just outside of the 10. But it's on here for the Māori big type. Can they make this one stick? To feel Hoppa. Dragged down inside his 10. Looking for a quick play of the ball. Captain just slipping on the turf. Gets the ball back off of the boot of the Tonga defensive line. Oh. And another set here coming up for New Zealand Māori. Tate tries to crash through. Two minutes and 23 remain in this first half. Shopo Korpo was right there for the big man. And they're going to keep Tonga pinned in goal. They won't. Pauling will come across. And it was a design play trying to get Upoko to come back underneath. And boy, he's got to control this here. Things getting out of hand. Need to start focusing on the footy. And a bit for Pucky Parkinson to handle here. And I'll get back to the footy when they attack down the left-hand side. And to Fuel Hooper. Had numbers on the outside. I thought they defended it really, really well. Especially Elijah Paya. Looks like Josh Cooper could see some time. Maybe a punch thrown here. And well handled. In the end. But they have lost the player. We'll just keep an eye on the referees and see if they call anybody out here. No, they haven't lost anyone. This, this player taking a seat. Time off is the call. I think he's handled this pretty well. Parky Parkinson, hasn't he, Willie? Very well. He's split the teams up. Got some good assistance from the staff of both teams, just, um, keeping their players just, apart. Just Looks like they're calling one of the Tongan boys out. He's calling for number five, Elijah Bayer. Mickey Parkinson seen something. Discussion with uh, Jack Fevers and Liam O'Brien. Number 20 here, which is Te Pairo Winniera. He's got a big job on his hands this afternoon, Bucky Parkinson. Well, well handled, I think, in the end, Willie. Plenty of emotion, as you mentioned. A big job to do to sort through it for Parkinson, Fevers and O'Brien. A really great job by the referee. Put the fire out straight away. Have a chat to the culprits. We're close to half time, they'll get a breather anyway. And coaches will do their job and calm their players down and refocus them. Before that we've got 50 seconds left and a couple of plays for Tonga to attack. They'll be frustrated, New Zealand Māori. They've had their opportunities. Right out from the line was Korpua. And here come Tonga. With perhaps the final say of this half. You're 100% right. Field position's probably been, if there's stats, all Tonga's way. But they've had their moments in New Zealand Māori. They've split them open. And those times they've split them open, as I said earlier, it's been when they've got their... Their speedsters around the ball. And got around some bigger fellas in the Tongan defence. Beat them with some footwork. It's slippery out there. And get the defender to slip or ruin his footing. You get some joy like they've had. Last play here. The Tonga time up on the clock. There is the Huda. Brings it into 
a tense first half in the Premiership final. And it's the lone try to Atelier Filo for Tonga that sees them lead by six here at Pukakohe. understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up, running and available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Using only world class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertec from the pack. Pertec will keep you operating. You're watching the grand final of the Premiership in the Pacifica Youth Cup for 224. And the crowd have been treated. He might have a plot to play in the second half. So Maki so Maki for Tonga. They have got a staunch fan base here. And this is how it started against the run of play, Willie Poaching. And it was Atelier Filo who had the only try of the half. And they were aggressive right from the outset defensively. They pinned the Māoris down on their line and restricting their yardage. And as you can see, making them kick from deep. And even more aggressive was their kick pressure. And Philo is a recipient of the reward. And things just got a little bit tasty. There were some flavoursome moments in that half. The emotions are high. As you said, it's grand final time. A lot at stake. It's been a big week for these gentlemen. Both teams want to walk away with the trophy. Just letting the emotions overflow a little bit here on a couple of, a couple of times in this first half. And the referee, Pucky Parkinson, has done a great job to manage this. He's put the fires out for both sides and get them focusing back on playing the game. Certainly had their opportunities, New Zealand Māori. Some good work by uh, Compton Purcell on the big man, Te Pairo Winieta. He went very, very close, went over the goal line, in fact, but there's uh, some excellent strength shown by Tonga's centre. Had other opportunities too. Josh Korpua, his eyes lit up. He was only half a metre out. The rain is falling, but it hasn't dampened the spirits. It has been an exceptional crowd today, well supported all week, but getting out on a damp long weekend to celebrate Pacific and Aotearoa talent, young talent on display. They've done a fantastic job, the Pacifica Aotearoa Collective, John Devonshire's team, Hengi Fusitua as well bringing together another outstanding event credit to the county's monaco rugby for uh, providing this venue the perfect setting so only six points to nil this is anyone's 28-4 was new zealand maori yesterday impressed though with the, the man who's going to kick off this second half hurt Pickering showing his talent Willie yeah he's been very very good miscued one kick 
It's so influential and dangerous. Running the ball also for Tonga. If this uh, second half is anything, if the first half is anything to go by, this second half is going to be a, an awesome 30 minutes of rugby league. Off the back fence. Come here, Tutu Davis again. Sting now coming. For Tonga. Oh, what a tape. Every time there's a carry, the crowd just erupts. Oh, you got son. Getting across and shutting down the wide channel. Well, but that is a heck of a ball away. Kappa, ball back on the inside. Beautiful. And New Zealand Māori are going to score the opening try. Tama Te Aurangi Darlington. And Dante Tefuel Hopper, the right back row, the big number 11 for the New Zealand Māori with the offload. After a couple of his mates had been punished carrying the ball, he found some space, bit of footwork. He finds Riley oh. Tavuli and gets a right hand <laughs> offload around the back of the defender. Outstanding doing that anyway, but in this weather, in the rain, a simple draw and pass. And a run and try for the New Zealand Māori. And a great try there for Tama Tiaurangi Darlington to get the first points on the board for the Māori straight after half time. No better way for the coaching staff of the New Zealand Altia Māori to get their half underway. Dante to feel Hopper absolute money ball and they still had work to do he had to square up the last defender Sione Lesala once uh, Tama Teorangi Darlington had his hands on it has changed into third and that is exactly what they needed confident start to this second half and the captain with a fairly handy opportunity just right of the posts On target, Kahu Kappa converts the try to Tama Teorangi Darlington. And we're locked up here at Pukakuhi. And as he's lining up the kick, there's some action in the background for Tonga. They've lost their captain, Panasua. He's come off, he's limping, he looks in a, in a pretty bad way. I'm not sure if he'll be back. He's a big loss. He's a big loss for Tonga. Huge loss for Tonga. Just making his way, hobbling his way to his team's interchange tent. So plenty of responsibility on the shoulders now of this man. Tyrone Hurt Pickering. Great final, tense final, six apiece. Big responsibility on Tavoli and Hurt Pickering to take some of the ball-playing role that Panasua was doing for the Tongan side in the middle. And the Māori looking to play their way out here. Hey, Hunter Pauling going at dummy half and have to try and pinch some cheap metres. Takes play just short of the 40. Playing it away is... Try score at Tama Teorong Darlington. And a dummy half again, and it's the penalty. It's 
Getting in the road. New Zealand Māori. This is what they're after. A try and a chance to just play a bit of territory. As I mentioned in the first half, a real signature of their game for Tonga was their line speed and off the back of it was their ruck control. Not getting that at the moment because they're not getting that. New Zealand Māori trying to play quick. You can't cheat your way and try and hold them down illegally. Jensen, yeah, big Josh Kopua. They go low on him. Waiting one off. Igasan. Yeah, Pauling flying up into the line. Mount Pauling will play the ball for his captain just inside of the 20. The man who sparked it with. A gem of a, an offload to Phil Hopper. Deeper this time, looking for the space down at the left edge here. Tapere Wikitera. How quickly on him, Tonga. Now the roll of the dice in the set here. Before the last, looking for the space. It's shut down. Hale Igasan. Just out from Tonga's line, here is five and last for the Māori. Jensen sends a high ball across. Kappa is out there, Kappa climbing, ball back in. Who wants it? What does Pucky Parkinson say? He's saying that Tonga have knocked it on in the end goal. And we've got it in an offside position. I'm not sure if another Tongan player touched the ball or even knocked it on, but... Tonga are really, really tight again. We mentioned it in the first half. And Elijah Player was out there all on his own and got no help. Now the mistake. And letting them know about it too. Had possession. And just give it away immediately, the Māori. Just a little bit drained at the moment. The defence, they've come out of half-time with a little less spark than what they had in the first half, Tonga. First chance was the ball carrying out of their own end. See where their mindset's at. Rain falling steadily here. Pulls for offside. Wish granted to Kuvia. Not to get them going forward. This will help. It was a nice carry. From Sikuvia straight off the scrum. Put a right foot step on. Forward from New Zealand Māori. Not quick enough to get out of the scrum. Too urgent. Too jumpy off the line. Bernard Mungutau taking a seat. Looking for a quick play of the ball, won't get it. He's in the Māori trying to shut down the attack early in the set. Grand goes to Hurt Pickering. Is it Lissala? He's good when he gets involved in the game. Lissala is so dangerous. Oh, a little short ball hurt Pickering. Had uh, Peter Kingiki on his shoulder. And that one just straight out of the hands. And a disappointing end to the play. Tonga had a real good chance. It looked like they were starting to get some flow about them. Just stifles. I'm not sure which team it suits to stop, start nature. Now we had a real good flow to the, to the first half. It was end to end. Few stoppages in the second half so far. I'm not sure which team it suits best. Mount appalling. Nice. It's right in the thick of it for a smaller fullback, doesn't it? He loves it, doesn't he? He loves getting amongst it. Hopua. And 
It's a good solid barge forward by the big man. Yeah, a couple of runners getting the passes through the hands. This is excellent. Barber, we talked about how dangerous he can be. Could this be his moment in the final? Just short. Mason Barber. Momentum with the Māori. Looking to string it through the hands again. Jensen shifting it on. Winnie it up. Way to the left. As Tonga just slow down the play. Jensen sends this one high. Gets the call from players out wide. Chasing through. And a good take in the end. Under some pressure too. Shiraz from Mooni. Back and a, to and a much better job by Tonga in getting numbers there to help and get around the ball. And unfortunately they lost the ball in contact. Just when they get an opportunity to mount some sort of attack. Play one, turn it straight over. And it's talking about Tonga and their tightness of their defensive line. When you're defending that tight and they do shift on you, and you have to go out and move out to the edge. They're doing so and losing their hips and going sideways. And that's when Mason Barber was able to step back inside and look so threatening against those defenders that had lost their hips because they're starting so tight. If it goes. Pauling, good spot tackle on him. Whereas from Oni. Toyama Ward. Bit of patience coming into New Zealand Māori's game here now. So Igasan right out in front of Tonga's posts. There it comes again. Jensen puts a short ball. Pauro Winnietta on the crash. Now Corpo, maybe this time he can barge through. Shut down, fifth and last. Way comes, stab through, and an excellent take on the bounce to Sione Lesala. Tried to put it on a string, record Toyava Ward. Great fullback play to position himself in the right spot for the kick, reading where it was going to go, reading the threat who was going to kick. And the Māori, very, very good and good ball attack. Not only did he clean up, he returned and got them just shy of the 40. Some feeling in the hit on Sikuvia. Omaki, Somaki. We see him create something special. And the final 18 minutes here, six apiece. Nothing separating the teams at the moment. Some work to do for Mihana Pauling. Ball caught on the fly, brilliant work. And this is the last for Tonga. Out the back door it goes for Hurt Pickering. He sends this one into the Pukakoi sky. Good take backwards it goes. And oh, the crowd, the Tongan fans. Oh, I'd like to have a look at that one again. He's got them for offside in front of the kicker, but I'm sure they're all aware that it was last play this is not going to show it and the ball went backwards off Elijah Pyre and then when they regathered it looked like they we're going to be on this is a great kick from Hurt Pickering puts it in a position where Pauling has to run for it and he's nervous chasing the ball even if he gets it there's defenders in his face but to a point where they were able to get it back to that He's got the ball on a string. Tyrone hit Pickering. Mm. His kicking game is so dangerous. Oh, Poco. Michael sends it away. There it is for Jensen. Finds a brilliant run coming off the shoulder. Party Wiki Tera. Pauling looking at the referee, Pucky Parkinson. Ball oh, held. trying to carry on playing after it called held. So neither team really able to finish. Great line. And you can see 
once the ball carrying arm touches the ground, defender's still attached to him, tackle's held, and he tries to offload and carry on playing. And the wicket hitter turns it over for his side after a great run, unfortunately, for the young man. Momentum a dollar each way at the moment in this final. Oh, another one. Bounces free. Huge contact as Egerson comes up with it for New Zealand Māori. Looking for a quick play. Kōpua. And now he loses the ball backwards in contact. Mark takes them to the 20. Jensen will go in a dummy half with Poko. Smacks straight into Tivoli. Not all Mark. Away again. Lovely play. Pauling this time. Goes low on him. Tyrone Hurt Pickering. Good tackle on the fullback. Out of dummy half though. Jensen close. And is it more good work in goal? Yes, it is. There's Sulla this time. And Purcell again. He stops another certain try. As the Māori, the wave of attack just keeps coming and coming. They're doing a, doing a great job, that right edge of the Tongan defence. Oh, poor. Just at a standstill, really, up quickly on him. Mangaroa Mark. Mickey Parkinson's whistle goes. Also set to play just out from the tent. So, Boyava Ward pops the kick across. Players will climb for a Kahu Kappa, the captain! Like a seagull on a hot chip, he scores the try for the New Zealand Māori. And they put it right on top of a smaller man, knowing that the captain, as tall as he is, was going to fly. And a great take by Kappa to put it down and reach. Great try for the New Zealand Māori and great reward for all the pressure they've had up this end of the field. Tonga with their positions trying to get out, coming up with errors. They get a tap, knock the ball on, get a catch in the end goal, knock it on on the first play. New Zealand Māori making them pay for all the possession. He's had a couple of opportunities to practice his kicks. and gets it right on the money for Kahu Kappa to score. And he tries to set it up here to convert his own try. Tried it a couple of times. This time they get it right. What an athlete, Kahu Kappa. Managing to get over the Tongan plays around him, gets some ascendancy in the air, the aerial battle, and he still had to finish some work to do to plant that ball. A chance to convert his own try. A similar position to the first one. Just under 12 to go in the final. And it's 12 play six. Aotearoa, New Zealand, Māori in front here in Pukakui. The first time they've been behind in the match and they ring some changes. Stephen Tuivai McEwen and Panasua in a big boost after we saw him limping. He comes back on to try and finish the game and give them a big boost. They've got their starting middles back out there, Tonga. But they're full of running at the moment, the Māori. It's where the game's being played. That's the biggest battle for Tonga right now. Do we have a ward? Good take on the fly. As, as the captain, vice-captain, Toby Gibson. He's playing his role well today. Still plenty of time left in this one. But it's New Zealand Māori with the momentum. 
Mangaroa Mark. Toy Ava Ward sends it across for Igasan. Eventually, he's brought to ground by three defenders. Upoko sort of at the pass and said, hey, I want a bit too. So he tries to wrestle his way to the half. Mark, quick one out of dummy half. There's some good play. Starting to come together now for the Māori Winniera. We'll play it back. Again, the kick will come this time from Noah Jensen. And again, it's Kahu Kappa. But that's an excellent take under some real pressure. Elijah Paya for Tonga. He's done a great job considering what happened the last time they kicked that way with Kahu Kappa. But that was a great contest in the air. And that was a win for Tonga. Some smart play coming out from the, uh, their own yardage after that set. The New Zealand Māori playing a, a touch wider. They get a bit of tempo and pick the right moment. Went to play behind the ruck. And finish with a strong kick in the corner. If we are locked up at the end of this, we will go to Golden Point. Five each way till we find a winner. At the moment, New Zealand Māori. By virtue of tries to Tamate Orangi Darlington and the captain Kahu Kappa. Lead it by 12 to 6. That's the try scorer Filo passing away for Tonga. Little kick over. Hurt Pickering. Has the bounce for Nana Pauling. It's kind. And he tries to split them. He almost got through to the halfway line. The little fullback. And I thought for a moment. Kurt Pickering was going to go for the 40-20. There was a slight window there for him to try and find it. He tried to grub it through into that space where he found some joy last time. The difference was he put it in the air and allowed his chasers to compete for it. And they got it back. I think if he fashions that sort of kick again, he'd want to get it back in the air and give them a chance to compete. And when they give the penalty away, the crowd not best pleased with the referee's decision. So Jensen out. Uh, Toby Gibson and New Zealand Māori. A moment of the game where another try here just make it so difficult for Tonga. Dirirangi Walker plays it back as Mark. One off again for Mali Igasan. Right where they want to be here. Can they execute? Mark out a dummy half! Mangaroa Mark! Third try for the New Zealand Māori. And is that enough to get this done at Puki? Could very well be. The biggest difference has been the ball control. Getting to their kicks and playing down this end of the field for the New Zealand Māori. Tonga, this drain. Struggling to work out from their own end. Quick play the ball, Mangaroa Mark. Ooh. Gets out from dummy half. Quick scoot. Again, getting down low. Could be the score that wins the trophy in the Premiership final for the New Zealand Nautia Māori. You'd say it's a try that would bring a crowd to life, but they've been on their feet since 9 o'clock this morning here. Since Wednesday. <laughs> since Wednesday. And I'd say some haven't left. It's uh, been a real fantastic atmosphere. Great festival. Celebration of athleticism, our future talent talent of the Pacific and Aotearoa at the moment New Zealand Māori with just over a seven and a tick to go getting it done here against Tonga Legs up again. 
Crowd enjoying it. Tonga. Still plenty of time. There's they're two tries behind. There's still time. They've got to try and be the next ones to score if they can. But they've got to play up tempo. We've got to try and speed things up. Like this kickoff. Get the game going. Try and get the ball back as quick as they can. Tonga here. And try and score with some time left on the clock. So they can go again. Here Pickering. Just over six remain in the Premiership final. Toby Gibson. Pleading for a penalty, none forthcoming from Pucky Parkinson. Need a mistake here, Tonga, don't they? And need to just punish quickly. Close the gap. They need an error, they need an intercept, they need the New Zealand Māori to kick the ball early any way they can get their hands on position. Not getting it at the moment. All they're getting is some good carries in front of them. Marley Egasan. Now one will come. There's the kick from Jensen. Floating just beyond the 30. Very good take. Capper again. What does referee Parkinson say? Says it's come forward. That's been a great contest in the game. Kappa and Pyre out on this right edge. On this uh, grandstand side. Both fantastic in the air. So Tonga. With uh, just under five minutes to play. We have to try and fashion something, create something from 25 metres out from their line. Try here if they can get one. It's all on. Hilo. Heard Pickering. We're going to try and weave his magic. The Sala. The Couvier, he's been handy, hasn't he? The man with the 16 on his back. Uh, it's the Māori where possession not what Tonga needed. I'm not sure. Looking at a forward pass. I think he says it's gone forward. Unless it might have come loose in his grasp and then touched by a Māori defender. Got the call from... Even so, they lose possession lose that opportunity with every second going so does their opportunity and their chance unfortunately very very good Tonga looks like it's not to be can they finish the job here Aotearoa New Zealand Māori Kitira Toyava Ward plays it off. Some big, thumping, aggressive running. Durangi Walker. Mark quickly again. Just shovels it away. Gibson. Looking for a quick play. Toby Gibson. Mark again. Beautiful run onto the ball. And that'll be it. Waka Tate scores the try. And he seals the trophy for the New Zealand Māori. And a wonderful try again. Build up, patience, control. Punishing Tonga for an error. Rolling the big fellas. Through the middle, Walker Tate. Says, I'll take it. The middles have had a chance, had their chances in this one. Dropping it a couple of times in the first half. When they were close to the line, not not on that one. Walker takes this. Thank you very much. I'll finish it off and put some polish on this game for our team. The point flying, New Zealand Māori flying in the final here. Hey, Puka Kohe. Hey, once they got their noses in front, momentum was with them. 
And they just did not take the foot off the throat. That's right, and that momentum started straight after half time. When big Dante to fuel Hopper went on a charge and the right hand offload set up the first try of the second half and the Maldives first try of the game. As you said, that momentum never stopped them. They were never able, Tonga, to surrender or rescue it back. Twelve points in the final for Co Kappa. Fourth try for the New Zealand Māori and headed towards Premiership glory here in 2024. This is the finish of it. Lovely short pass. Equally good timing on his run. Like a tape. You can see the disappointment. You understand the disappointment on the Tom and players' faces. They've been going. They were outstanding that first half and well in control of things. Just didn't come, come out of the dressing room and into the second half with the same amount of energy and aggression that they had for that first 30 minutes. Final seconds of the Pacifica Youth Cup for 2024. And unlucky, Tonga. They were very, very good the first 40 minutes. It wasn't their way. The, sorry, 30 minutes. It wasn't theirs the next 30. To the Māori. And that's it. New Zealand Māori stand tall here at Navigation Home Stadium in Pukekohe. An outstanding performance here in the final. Some quality individual play, some brilliant team play. The heavens opened above this afternoon. It made conditions difficult. But they thank those above for what they've achieved here today. Brilliant in the end. 24 points to six over Tonga in the Premiership final. We've had a wonderful week here at the Pacifica Youth Cup again in 2024. Uh, thanks to the Pacifica Aotearoa Collective, Willie Poaching, Isaac Gray, Courtney Tidy, as Jeff McTain saying, Paul Marie, and have a safe long weekend at Tamaki Makoto. Good evening.